It's Tuesday, September the 28th, and uh, we are in the fourth uh, servant song, which begins at the end of chapter 52 of Isaiah and runs through uh, chapter 53. And today we are in verses 7, 8, and 9. Uh, he was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. And you remember that incident uh, where he didn't speak uh, when they were taunting him? Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And as for his generation who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. And they made his grave with the wicked and with a rich man in his death, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit uh, in his mouth. I remember 25 plus years ago, maybe 30 years ago, uh, I was on a board uh, of a mission to the Jews, which had begun in the 19th century uh, with Robert Murray McShane who spent a year in Palestine and then came home. And he died, of course, when he was 29, so all this happened very quickly. But he founded uh, a mission called Christian Witness to Israel, and, and for a season I was on the board of that mission. And I remember uh, being told that in Manchester, where there, there was a large Jewish community, uh, at Christmas time, they distributed a tract, and the only thing, there were no uh, words on the tract except the fourth servant song. That, that's all it was. And there was a letter in the paper uh, the following week from a very, very upset and disgruntled uh, rabbi uh, about Christian proselytizing uh, the Jews, uh, only to point, point out that what they were offended at uh, was their own scripture. Uh, it was uh, Isaiah 53 depicting uh, the Lord Jesus. Here in this section uh, of the song, um, we have a prophecy of uh, his burial, and his burial, of course, uh, in a rich man's uh, tomb. Uh, it, it's as though God uh, was already beginning to... Uh, lift him, as it were, high. It's important that he died. It's important that he experienced burial, the separation of body and soul for a season as, as our substitute. Um, but uh, you cannot keep a good man down. And uh, on that third day, uh, he rose again from the dead. Well, again, uh, we're on holy ground here, and uh, you should read these verses uh, slowly and prayerfully as they depict the Lord Jesus. We'll return to the last section of it uh, tomorrow.